Hey, yeah, another glorious day in the park. And another choice that I would like to share with you. Um, this one is very much between using emotional self-reliance to educate my children or using emotional dependency to educate my children. Right, this is how I see the choice that I had. Again, excuse the very dodgy drawings. <laughs> You can tell I didn't go to art school, can't you? <laughs> anyway, so using emotional dependency to educate my children. For me, it's very much based on an acceptance and, and rejection. So this one is based on the teacher being heavily motivated, shown by this dodgy drawing, sorry teachers, <laughs> to uh, gain acceptance, to accept as many children as they can. And the children, sorry children for the drawing, is about uh, making sure that they, they are accepted by the teacher. So it's very much an acceptance model. Okay, both motives are motivated to accept each other, so it should work. Okay, there go my church bells again. <laughs> right. Well, what happens is here the acceptance process. Hopefully, the bells will stop soon. Is based on the the teacher sharing information to the child, which the child consumes. The child then, I can't think of a better way of them doing. It, effectively regurgitates that information to pieces of paper, which the teacher then accepts or rejects. Okay? See, so the teacher's motivated for acceptance. So basically the acceptance model is teacher tells stuff, child proves they have learnt, listened by writing it down. That way the child feels accepted because they've got it right, and the teacher feels accepted because the child got it right. Obviously they can get it wrong, um, which can then uh, lead to rejection. Obviously that generates a feeling of rejection. But because the teacher's motivated to acceptance, they go back around that process until they get it right. But for me, underlying that, all the children know there's a clear process of rejection. So if they don't gain acceptance from the teacher, the ultimate consequence is rejection. Okay? I've even seen a local school that has a called, called consequence one, consequence two behaviour so it's very clearly explained and the worst consequence is exclusion. Okay that's my first choice. My other option here is using emotional self-reliance to educate my children. Okay? Now for me this one is very much based on the child learning to accept themselves, to learn to love themselves. Okay? Right, and the education process, if you like, a drawing here coming into play, sorry about the shadow, <laughs> the, is where the child looks out. The, child, the learning comes from within. So what that does is the teacher creates scenarios that makes the child want to express themselves, wants to ask questions, wants to learn for themselves. So the child is controlling the learning process, essentially as a way of gaining acceptance of themselves. Okay. So for me, emotional self-reliant education is putting the children in situations where they want to learn for themselves. Okay? One of the biggest risks of this process is that if the child rejects themselves, so a crucial role of the teacher, sorry teachers, another bad story, <laughs> but one of the crucial roles of the teachers is to enable the child, uh, show the child how to spot become aware of when a negative emotion is kicking in, when the child is starting to reject themselves, okay? And then give them lots of thought, of thought process and tools and techniques to convert that negative or get rid of the negative or to convert it so that it's a positive emotion, so that they accept themselves, okay? So, for me anyway, emotional self-reliance is to educate my child by putting them in, comp in situations where they want to learn, where it comes to the learning comes from within themselves. They ask questions, they seek, they inquire. And in an environment where the teacher is able to show them how to ensure that they manage their, they explicitly manage their thought processes, which often I've noticed, uh, how I've done it with other children, is you have to teach the children how to express their thoughts, how to get their thoughts out on paper because once it's externalised, once it's out of their brains, they can then look at it and then make choices about how they want to manage it. Okay, so I was faced with a choice using 
emotional self-reliance to educate my children or using emotional dependency to educate my children. And my instincts made me choose the emotional self-reliance route. Okay? So I hope by sharing this choice it has helped sort of, I don't know, spread the choice into the world. Okay? Thanks a lot and have a great day and I'm off to enjoy this fantastic day. Bye.